Together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. <laughs> You're safe among friends. Never forget it. worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. I have to stop these disappearances. My career is a state. The Meister sits slumped in a chair, looking around the room as she works her shoulder with one hand. It looks like it was dislocated by the gallows. Damnable red cloak baboons ransacking my wardrobes, as if I would keep ancient valuable secrets in a pearl with my unmentionables. She takes a deep breath, and with a twist, a click, and a screech of pain, she shoves her shoulder back into its socket. <laughs> I swear by the seven of if we did not have more important matters to attend to. Reaching across the table, she pulls a bowl of hot water towards her and fishes some bandages, a needle and thread out of a box. She slowly starts to tend to her wounds. At least the barbarians were unable to club their way into my vault, so everything you need should be safe. In your case, more than I suspect, man, god or even reptile can provide. However... We must soldier on. It is not enough to be godwoken in order to ascend to divinity. There is a process. As she speaks, the Meister uncorks a vial of shimmering liquid, sauce. She lets a couple of drops fall on her hand, but instead of infusing with her body, they quickly evaporate on her scales. She stares at the empty spot on her palm for a long moment before turning back to you, continuing as if nothing had happened. 
A process by which God woken may ascend. It begins with discovering your deepest self, delving into your own soul. We shall begin once we have <laughs> the tools we need from my vault. You may have been chosen, God woken, but the coming divine requires more than a supernatural pat on the head. Come, God woken. It is time to see just how awake you are. Fortunately, the magisters pay as much attention to art as they do to fashion. Kindly remove that painting from the wall. I pray my instructions will not be too technical. Your talent for following simple instructions. Push the button. Now, kindly go to the vault and enter the combination. I shall call it out as you go. A stone door lies flush with the floorboards. Etched whirls in the granite frame a delicate rotary dial. Glean, taking your time, you carefully enter the combination. The metallic sounds of the tumblers falling within the mechanism let you know you entered the code correctly. Excellent. Follow me. Your time... Rooms, weird contraptions. This place Come is an speak to me when you wish to proceed. And try not to break anything in the meantime. Meister is examining her wounds, prodding at this, wincing at that. Her face seems grim as she turns to you. Do you know what it means to have the power of the divine, Godwoken? And you, in your infinite wisdom, would know what is better. You would judge your enemies without prejudice and make decisions that could hurt your own for the greater good. No, becoming the divine means taking on the power of all the gods and the responsibility for all the races. The divine was created by the gods to shelter us from the void. The divine cannot use his power for anything else. Very well then. Let's see if we can't snatch divinity from the jaws of the void. The ritual itself is quite simple. Drop some black root in the bowl, mix in a little blood, set the concoction aflame, and then inhale the smoke. Ignore any feelings of dizziness, burning in your lungs, or a dire sense of existential dread. They're all perfectly normal, although you will need to sacrifice a little sauce along the way. Everything you need is here. Ingredients in the cupboard, sauce in the glowing fountain, Ritual in the tome by the bookcase. Even an incinerator to provide a flame. The Meister looks back at her wounds, curiously prodding them as fresh blood oozes out, staining her claws. Quite. Mind you, being torn asunder by a void woken would be even more inconvenient. So if you wouldn't mind... The Meister points sharply to the ingredients cupboard. And do not lose anything. These ingredients are rare indeed. I'm not hiking back out to the cloisterwood to fetch you more black root.
Opening the door, you see a selection of ingredients thrown together in no particular order. After a quick rummage, you spot the black root nestled between the grated dragon's tongue and drudenay oil. You gather up the black root, obsidian lance and ancient bowl and kick the door of the cupboard closed. As you suck the smoke deep into your lungs, your vision starts to swim and cloud. There is an intense pounding in your head and you can feel the world fading. As the world fades away, you lose all sense of being grounded. You reach out, but you could feel yourself falling slowly, sinking into the depths of your own soul. The deepest recess of my soul? But it looks like the Hall of Echoes. Bathed in the half-light of these starless barrens, you spot a figure you could only describe as a second self. It looks haggard and weak, its very voice but a feeble echo of your own. My chosen, come, come closer, so that you may see me as I truly am. Look me in the eyes. The apparition clasps your face in its shaking hands. You suddenly feel your eyes tingle. Everything becomes brighter, sharper. Blacks and whites become glorious bursts of color, then fade back into their accustomed spectrum. Blind eyes shine brightly. Speak the spell and see. strange mirror image of yourself. Before you stands the god Rallick in all his spectral glory. You know me now, don't you? I saved you from drowning. I blessed you, made you powerful. And now I've come to seek some power in return. Your god-woken soul is my last refuge, my last bastion. May as well make the best of what you have to offer. Rallick nourishes himself from the source that abounds in your presence. You feel it deep down inside yourself. Ah, yes. Just what I needed. I tell you, dying just doesn't become a god.
The void itself is hunting down the gods, leeching us in ways we never thought possible. Droplet by droplet, we are being drained. We're battling for our very survival. It's a battle we're losing. And should we truly lose, all will be cast into oblivion. To save us both, as a matter of fact. You must realize that our fates are now as one, just as our souls are now as one. We are I. Together we are a force to be reckoned with. But if we seek to survive the onslaught of the void, we stand no chance unless we become vastly more powerful than we are now. That means there is but one place we can go. The Well of Ascension. It is a lake, a pool of pure source in which the powers of the Seven lie united. We gave them up freely to create the first divine. Each of us donated half of that which makes us gods. To bathe in the lake is to become our chosen. That is where the road to divinity leads, and you must be the first to reach it at all costs. I know. Or did you think I chose you for nothing more than our shared humanity? One must never enter into any endeavor, though, without realizing the stakes. The Void is stronger than ever. A new divine won't be enough. You need to go to the Well of Ascension, not to bathe in the Source of the Seven, but to take it. All of it. Only he who claims everything will be everything. The Void's doom. This world's liberator. It's very simple, really. They will either bow to you or be undone. But of course, that is what they are saying to their own God Woken as we speak. We both know they won't bow, just like we both know you will never bow to them. Only one can become a God strong enough to safeguard our world. One, at the expense of all others. So make no mistake, my champion. Chances are the road to divinity will be paved with dead gods, their blood on your murderous hands. But don't let that dismay you, for these sins will be washed clean by the knowledge you committed them to save all of existence, to save your kin and your loved ones and the world they live in. Of course, the ends do justify the means. Life or the eternal void. If you choose life, you choose the well of ascension. I will lead you there when you're ready, when you've become a true master of the source and speak the language of creation itself. Our journey will be fraught with peril. It is a pilgrimage of challenges that will require you to command source like only a god woken can and wield its most powerful spell. Coarse laughter rolls and echoes into infinity. You flatter me, my chosen. But if all I had to do was give, you would have long since have received. We are I now. The spells you need to know I will teach you when you are ready. But first, you must learn to channel the source in greater volumes. That is why you need to seek masters of the source. You must make them teach you, so that you may become a master in turn. So, return to Rivalon and seek out these sages where they dwell. Convince them to share with you their deep-seated bond with the Source. Once you have, you may return to me here. Something that will make you understand that for a god, there is precious little difference between the living and the dead. Source is. It is a constant, a subject of neither time nor transience. All of life is Source, and in Source it is, immortally so. You have the vision of a god now, eyes that can see spirits, the souls of the dead made manifest in Source. Speak the spell during your peregrinations, and you will see them. Where the dead lie, the dead linger. Best of luck, my champion.
The Meister stares intently at you. Her eyes are tired and bruised, but determined. Still alive? Gods above, there might be something to you after all. She leans in, her bloody tongue flickering hungrily about your face. Tell me, what did you see? What do you know? She sighs impatiently as you hack up the last of the green smoke. You can't channel enough source. Gods be damned, why couldn't you have a nice simple problem? Finding an orc to dance the hornpipe, perhaps. I know exactly what must be done. You must find a master of source. And I could have helped you once, but no longer. The purging which the Magisters included as part of their service was quite efficient. They stripped me of my source. Not enough to silence me, but enough that I would not turn their insides to lime. Enough to sever my link to the font from which all source flows, and certainly enough that I cannot train you. So we must seek alternatives. Alas, the only source masters not yet hauled off to Fort Joy or turn into meat puppets are those too dangerous or cunning for the Magisters to contain. Sorcerers that allowed their power to corrupt them. Many are wicked, cruel, vile, and generally not good teacher material, but we may have no others to turn to. You will not be there long, I assure you. There is only so much you can glean from a twisted mind. However, it is the path we walk, no... <coughs> no matter what the cost. No matter... <sighs> what is asked of you. The Meister doubles over in a violent coughing fit, struggling for breath. After a few moments, she regains her composure, wiping a thin smear of blood from the corner of her mouth. No matter what is asked of you, you must learn from them. And you do not seem to be paying attention. Sorcerers, evil, controlling your source, saving Rivalon, please. <laughs> please tell me at least some of this rings a bell. Your focus, your only focus, must be on finding these masters. On finding the secrets to divinity. Nothing else matters. The Magisters have kept ledgers with all known sorcerers, especially the powerful ones not yet captured. They would be an invaluable resource. But do be careful not to get caught. I was their <coughs> guest for a time. And I promise you the gallows was the most comfortable part of the experience. And if their barracks turns out to be as empty as their skulls, just try to keep an ear to the ground. There may still be powerful sorcerers hiding in these lands. As she speaks, one of her wounds reopens, a dark red stain spreading across her tunic. She hisses in frustration and starts to bind the gash. I wish there was more I could do, but in this condition I would be more a hindrance than a boon. Godspeed, and remember, do whatever it takes. The Meister sits slumped in her chair, you notice that some of her scales have dropped to the floor. What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? Then why... The Meister sits... What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? Then... The Meister stares intently. Still alive? She leans in. 
Tell me, what did you see? What do you know? The Meister's eyes flash with fury. You are not a pile of ash, so the ritual was a success, albeit partially. You had all the mat- That is... unfortunate. <sighs> Indeed not. And ever more difficult when you've been purged. I was a master of source once, but no longer. The Magisters saw to that. The river of my source has been dammed. My link to the font from which it flows. So we must seek alternatives. Sorcerers that allowed their power. These are the kind. However, it. The Meister. No matter what is asked of you, you. And you do not. Source. Your focus. Your own. The magic. And if they're. As she I wish there was more. I. The Meister. What news? Can you channel enough source? Are you powerful enough to proceed? The spirit of an elegant elven woman materializes before you. You can see me. A god woken in my presence. I am the Meister's apprentice. I study under her, but I do not learn. I hear tales of the ritual, of what lies beyond. Such wonders. Such powers! I decide to pursue them myself. Meister tells me it cannot happen, that I am not Godwoken. But in my heart, I know I am special. I try. I burn the root. I breathe the smoke, and it burns me back. No air fills my lungs, only fire. When the darkness falls, I cannot cry out. I leave my life behind with a shameful whimper. The spirit looks at you regretfully. It is hard to hear of such power, and not covet it for yourself. I lie to myself and convince myself that I am special. But I am not special. I am dead.
I'm on a break now, Yvette. You better not fall asleep on your watch again.
Surrounded by incompetence. I deserve a better posting. Bellwether, I need those reports, course, damn it. Right away. Nelson, my inkwell is Hold dry. It. Fetch me some right more. Away. What's this? Damn it, Barwell, you're supposed to be stopping intruders. There's still a fugitive on the loose. It's... it's Bellworth, sir. And the fugitive's description doesn't match. I don't care. Keep on alert until this fiend's head is on a spike. I don't want to end up like the others. Now, you... what do you want? You can't just come in here as you please. There's magisters missing. I'm trying to conduct a bloody investigation. Are you deaf? Your business here, now. Well, mind your bloody step in future. I've an investigation to carry out, and I don't need any more distractions. Yes, a vile little tinkerer goes by the name of Higba. Three of my magisters have gone missing of late from right here in Driftwood. All signs are that Higba is responsible. The fiend's greed gave him away. He was peddling items that belonged to those missing from our ranks. He saw my men before they could seize him and fled. Catching, killing, I don't care. There'll be gold for whoever puts an end to this rat. If you see anything, tell me or my men at once. Otherwise, keep the hell out of our way. Well, do you know anything? Stop wasting my time then. Hellweather, I need those reports, Course, damn it. Right away. The Magister grumbles under her breath. Bloody bastard will never get my name right. I've been under his command for almost a year. Magister Carver's got all the information he needs locked up downstairs. So don't think you'll get a reward for peddling hearsay. Of course, sir. Right away. The Magister turns to you with a scowl. He already seemed immensely displeased, and your interjection isn't improving his mood.
The Magister glances at you like you're something he just stepped in. Keep out of it! That's what I want to know. Stuck here with those silent things. The new leadership ought to learn to respect its veterans. We're the ones who uphold the rule of law, not white ponches like Raymond and Jonathan. A sly smile creeps across the Magister's face. Aye, and sooner than you might think, if the rumours are true. Let's just say, there's other places where I'd be appreciated more than I am in Driftwood. The Magister loses some of his bluster. I... I ain't saying. It's a secret for loyal members of the Divine Order only. Who asked you? You're not even supposed to be down here. Keep out of it.
yield to none. Killed by sorcerers, a most vile. Surrounded by incompetence, I deserve a better posting. Bellwether, I need those reports, damn it.
Surrounded by incompetence, I deserve a better posting. Wilson, my inkwell is dry. Fetch me some more. 